going on guys? Do you have any questions? Hi Kat. So guys, something I noticed today, um, I've had three client calls this morning already. I've been up since the crack of dawn. And something's very common in a couple of the calls I've had recently and it's this. I'll say, what was your childhood like? And people go, it was great. <laughs> then I go, okay. And then I keep asking and I keep asking and I keep asking. And then they tell me something and I'm like, um, you think that might be why you're doing this and that? So a lot of people are coming to me and not actually realizing what's at the core of some of their shit that they're doing in life. Their subconscious dominant thinking is running their life and they don't even know what caused it. Now, it's easy for me standing on the outside looking in because I'm not in your subconscious. Okay, oh, sorry, I'm not you with the subconscious that's running the show, but I can see from the stories you've written to me and the conversation we have sometimes what that is and sometimes I have to delve okay but what I want you to do guys oh your SP came over today yay green egg one wonderful I saw some of your comments on one of the videos fantastic darling what happened after the breakup I had manifested him getting therapy he came over today to tell me he's been been going to therapy wonderful darling so guys I really want you to really investigate what's at the core of your stuff if you're not having calls with me and you don't want me to find out what it is, then you need to find out what it is because that's what's running the show. Oh, thanks. I love my mug too. Okay, so hang on. No, Loz, no joke. I unclogged my toilet that had been clogged for a week by using your method. Well, bloody hell, I wish I'd done that. I had to get a plumber out. Now my shower's blocked. What did you do? My shower's now blocking up. I just stood in a puddle of... My hair's all wet. Sorry, guys. Just stood in a puddle of water because he didn't fix the bloody drain properly. Tell me what you did. <laughs> Why am I thought so bipolar? Sometimes I'm living the end and a few moments later I'm panicking. Well, darling, only you can know that. What are you thinking? What thoughts are you having that's making you feel like it's bipolar? Stop saying your thoughts are bipolar for a fucking start. Took myself to lunch, but I want to watch your video live instead. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, hang on, Gooney. I want to read the rest of you. After the breakup, I manifested in getting therapy. Yes. He came today telling me he's been feeling like a brand new man. We didn't talk about getting back together, but it was a huge movement. Hooray! my darling hooray well don't don't even worry about the conversation just assume you are together darling it'll come i haven't given up on sp but i've decided to manifest money and mo a model life rather than sp yes darling focus on you when you focus on you they focus on you when you focus on them they focus on them can you help with revising the old story do you write a short story or point form of things no darling write the whole fucking thing out the old story get rid of it write the opposite I'm getting to people to write five-page fucking essays about their lives and rewrite them. A point form isn't going to do it. Okay, you've got all this shit running in your mind about your life. You think a couple of bullet, bullet points is going to get rid of that shit? No. Write the whole new story, darling. But first, write the old one. And that's the hardest bit to do. Lots of people go, I don't want to write the old one. I'm like, that's exactly why you should write it. Okay. Started flushing on its own. Hang on, what did you do? I keep pressing buttons and getting the wrong... Hang on, I'm going to read what you wrote. Just know it. And no joke, after 15 minutes, I was looking at it and doing nothing about it. Amazing. So you just knew it would be... I had tried everything. Chemicals, hot water. And I started thinking, this toilet is unclogged. Oh, well done, darling. Oh, thanks, LRO2. Brilliant. I'm going to do that. This shower is unclogged. This shower is unclogged. I can stand in this shower without being in a puddle of water. <laughs> I'm going to do that, darling. Wonderful. Um... My SP went ghost after everything was perfect. Any tips on getting them back? I've been affirming. What have you been affirming? For them or for you? If you're just affirming for them, won't do shit, darling. Manifesting X back and they literally transform into what I want. Yes, Miller Socter actor. Well done, darling. You're a master at this. Wait, what is this essay about? What, what, what? Hang on, I'm trying to read the going so fast. I want to know more. Yes, yeah, so most people are getting on a private client call with me, one-to-one, -one, a video call for half an hour. It goes over half an hour. Guys, if you want to book one with me, just DM me on TikTok or Facebook. Okay, now, what I normally do is delve into their childhood and then get them to write from, like, age zero to five years from now or now. Okay, rewrite your whole fucking life, guys, because it's your life that's causing your life now. People go, oh, it was stuff that happened to me as a teenager. It was stuff that happened in my other relationships. No, no, no. No, it's not. It never is. It's always the shit from real far back that you don't even realise is running the show. Okay, guys, that's what you need to rewrite. A whole essay. Um, um, my SP added me back to his close friends list on Instagram. I can see movement. Hooray! Well done, darling. 
the last time I'd thrown anything in it, it was about three hours earlier and just unclogged by itself. Well done, Moon Chili. Thanks, LRO2, for the fire. It's incredible. Yes, Milos Agni. Well done, darling. Loz, if we make affirmations with our voice and play it while we sleep, that's a good thing. Yes, darling. Okay, so make them on your voice memos. I have always been chosen. I've always been loved and adored. Whatever it is, you're hearing yourself and drifting off to sleep. It's a great idea. And try as you're going to sleep to still say them and then it, you'll just be listening to it. On your voice memos, guys. Wait, listening to recorded affirmations in sleep help our manifestations come faster? Yes, guys, because you're listening to yourself. Oh, thanks, Ella. Listen, guys, if, you, if you're saying it to yourself, it's you talking, not me talking or someone else talking. Although when you do mine, guys, you can just let them loop on TikTok. I did an SP one yesterday. I'm doing some more coming, okay, about SP and self-concept. It helps if it's someone else's, uh, helps if it's your own voice rather than someone else's. But if you can just repeat after me, I leave a gap. I have always been chosen. I've always been chosen. Or he loves me so much. He loves me so much. Okay, and you can repeat it in your head as you're drifting off to sleep. You've changed my damn life. Oh, fantastic, Tasha Hottie. Oh, what's happened? Tell us. I'm so pleased. It's Mina. Da it's Mina only. It's Mina only. <laughs> Thank you so much, darling, for the present. So if we just affirm getting back, then back it won't happen. Yep. We have to affirm for ourselves also. Yes, guys, it's all you. You have to change you to change them. Change you to change them. Change you to change them. If you're sitting there all day, people have come to me from other manifestation coaches who have literally just given them affirmations about the other person and I've said, is this person a fucking idiot? And they're, and some of them are manifestation coaches that I've followed for months and I'm like, that coach is really good. Was she having a bad day? Why did she not investigate what the fuck was at the core of it, which is you? Guys, you have to change you to change them. The affirmation should mostly be about you, not them. About you, not them. I've always been chosen. I've always been loved. I am irreplaceable. I'm too important to lose. Not, he loves me so much. He constantly calling and texts me. He, 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 fucking he. What are you doing about changing you, which caused the situation in the first place, guys? Can't say it enough. If you're not getting this, please go to my Facebook page, Manifest Live with Loz. Press the link in the bio or on my Instagram. Go to the page or type it in with space bars in between on Facebook. Then watch back number 25 live replay and it says self-concept to get your ex back. I explain it all in there in great fucking detail. If you haven't gone and watched that one, watch it and watch it and watch it and watch it. Me yelling at you at the screen that it's all about you. Can't stress this enough, guys. Do I continue to manifest my SP or do I stop once I've done it? Uh, no, don't stop. Trust me, I made that fucking mistake. Once they're back, you need to go harder on your fucking self-concept. Don't just assume because they're back, everything's just going to be, oh, it's all great. Mm. You can think that, you can assume that, but have you worked on you? Have you changed all the problems in you that cause the situation? Have you assumed that they love you and not jumping in with, oh, I wonder if he's going to stay? Wonder if this is gonna last? When's the other shoe gonna drop? If you're having any of those fucking thoughts, you need to start affirming still. If I want a relationship, should I say we met up or that we're already in a relationship? You're already in a relationship, darling. Already in one. Um if we record affirmations, can we affirm for multiple different manifestations in the one recording? Yes, you can, darling, but don't overwhelm your subconscious. Don't be doing house car, SP, blah, 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 and then sit there and expect your subconscious to soak all that in. I would do separate ones, separate recordings for each separate theme. House ones, doing the house ones. Car ones, doing the car ones. SP ones, doing those. Do dreams mean anything? No, darling. Only if you think they do. You had a good dream about your SP, give it good meaning. Fantastic. Tell your brain that that means good things. Um, please do a video. How to attract a dream life partner because I can't manifest because I don't know him. Guys, you don't need to know them. I manifested my SP outside my fucking house the next week after just saying, I have a man who treats me beautifully. Okay? You just imagine what you want them to be, how you want them to treat you. They'll fucking turn up. Let me give you the tip. Never give up. We are the one. Yes. We are one. Yes, Milos Actor. I love it. I like to say how beautiful and how great I am and then how much he loves me. Yes, that's wonderful. That's focusing on you. I'm great. <laughs> I'm wonderful. I'm beautiful. He loves me so much. That's focusing on you. Wait, we have to revise our whole childhood? Can't we affirm we're having a new beginning and affirm? Well, good for you, darling, if you can. But is all your childhood stuff running your fucking brain? Let me give you the tip. It is. And if you're avoiding rewriting your childhood, that's probably because it was shit. <laughs> Guys, the things you avoid are the things that you need to do. If you're avoiding rewriting it, that's telling me something. 
if there's affirmations I give you that you're avoiding, like, I am chosen, I am beautiful, and you find those hard, if you find them hard, they're the ones you have to say. If you find rewriting your childhood hard or useless, well, I don't need that, it's probably why you need to do it. I keep saying my affirmation's my SP, but now people haven't talked for a long time messaging me why. What? I keep saying for my affirmations for my SP, but now people haven't talked for a long time messaging me. Oh, you mean other guys are coming out of the work other people? That's birds before land, darling. That just means that it's working, your self-concept's working, but you're still holding on to the old story about your SP. Everyone else is coming out of the work and reacting to you the way you want him to, but you need to change the old story of him or her to get them back. How do you rewrite your childhood? Do you write the actual story and recreate it? Yes, darling. Literally write all the shit. Then look at it and be like, what would I prefer instead? That's how you do it. Literally revising it. I keep affirming my mind, but my mind flips it back to negative when I try and affirm positively. Well, darling, you have to get rid of that old story and you have to keep persisting. Guys, this doesn't happen overnight. You've got however many years of your life of shit in your head. Thanks, Ella. You've got to keep persisting and persisting. How often are you affirming? Are you often are you affirming every hour on the hour? I bet you're fucking not. And when the negative thoughts jump in, are you jumping straight on top of them? Or are you expecting to believe them, expecting to feel them? Guys, you're not going to believe them. You've got all these years of shit. You're not going to believe what you're saying. you just got to say it and say it and say it and say it and say it. Your subconscious isn't going to let you believe it. It's running the fucking show. It's going to say, no, 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 you're not chosen. Remember that time your parents left you all by yourself for a week and they went to Disneyland without you? Blah, blah, blah. It's going to remind you of all the shit that happened. You've got to keep doing it, darling. How often are you affirming, tell me, Jessica? We created our own shit past, unfortunately. Well, also your parents did. I mean, the first seven years of your life, that's not your fault. Manifestations, question mark? What do you mean, darling? If I accidentally slipped and bent it about something I shouldn't have, is that ruining your manifestation? No, darling. Just say, nothing can ruin it. Doesn't matter what I do. Doesn't matter what I talk about, what I say, what actions I take. I can't fuck this up. Can you manifest a specific thing you want someone to say to you? Yeah, I do it all the time. I do it all the fucking time. On the spot, I get people to say things, do things. They're going to do this. They're going to say this. They're going to say blah, blah, blah. Just affirm it before they fucking say it. I do it all the time. I'm getting a headache. I affirm pretty much every hour and I keep looping in my head throughout the day. Okay, so have you got rid of the old story about whatever it is you're trying to affirm against? If it's an SP, have you rewritten them and seen them a whole new version of them? If you're finding affirming hard, guys, and you can't get rid of the negative thoughts, sometimes it has to do with the old story you're holding on to about you and the old story you're holding on to about the person, if it's about another person. Are you doing that? Are you still seeing them in that light? Are you still remembering the breakup? Are you still seeing that they you can't trust them? Are you still seeing as a person who's untrustworthy, cheated, there was a third party, yada, yada, yada? If you're doing that, your affirming won't do anything. You have to rewrite the story, guys, the old story of them and you. Um, how I know we can manifest an SP, but can we also manifest how they come back and what they do? That's the how. What do you think? I keep saying, don't worry about the how, and you've just written, can we manifest how they come back? No. <laughs> His ways are past finding out. If you try and orchestrate that, they might want to come back another way, but they won't do it because your subconscious is going, I want you to exactly come to my door, give me five red roses, say I love you, and tell me that you wish you never left. And they're going, uh, I was going to invite her to a hotel and ask her to marry me, but I won't do that now, I guess, because I'm being sent something else. Don't worry about the how, guys. Don't worry about it. Um, together 12 years, but he won't commit and keeps getting worse. How do I change your years of thoughts? Well, darling, Ella, something's going on with you, darling, if you've been with someone for 12 fucking years and he won't commit. What's going on in there? What happened in your childhood to make you think people won't commit to you, darling? Oh, I can't answer that. I don't. You book a call with me, sweetheart, and we'll work it out because that's fucked up. 12 years with someone and they won't commit to you? What was your parents' marriage like? What were you treated like as a child? What the fuck's going on there? Go and rewrite that shit. How to rewrite the old story and let go of resentment? Well, darling, realise that you need to resent you. <laughs> you need to be pissed off at you. Forgive you. You did it. Your thoughts created the situation. Don't resent them. Guys, if you're shitty at them, you're angry at them, you haven't forgiven them, are you listening to me when I say you create everything with your thinking? The person you should be annoyed at is you. Fuck, you're an idiot. What did you do that for, you stupid bitch? Urgh. Don't resent them. Beat yourself up for a second. Get over it. Forgive yourself and move on. 
Don't resent them, guys. They're literally just reflecting you. They know not what they do. Forgive them, Lord. They know not what they do. Don't get angry at them. Don't resent them. Nothing will change. Brush your hair. I know, darling. It's wet. Fuck off. Immaculate. How, how much do calls with you cost? I would really like to book one with you. Your energy is immaculate. <laughs> Thanks, darling. It's one to, um, one to one, half an hour, but it goes over. It's 110 US, darling. Grace Griffin, I saw him today because he wanted his stuff back and then went to his third party house after it brought me down. Oh, darling, that's no good. Grace, we're going to have our call and sort this shit out, darling, okay? I'll get back to you after the live. Um, you killed me. Thank you. I needed to know not to worry about the how. Yes, don't worry about the how, guys. You can't possibly know the how. You can't possibly know. If you try and orchestrate it, you'll fuck it up. Don't do that. What are affirmations to revise childhood abandonment? I have always been chosen. Once you've met me, you love me and you cannot be without me. I have always been a priority. Always revises your past, guys. It means it's always happened. You've always been chosen. You've always been loved and adored. You've always been showered with attention and affection. Um, oh, my God. Just remembered I manifested money earlier and my dad gave me money right now. Hooray, darling. Well done. That deserved capital letters. Someone told me you can just manifest anything and that you will get spiritual lessons. I'm so confused. Spiritual lessons. I don't believe in lessons, guys. I just believe that your thoughts create your reality. So if you believe you're going to be learning spiritual lessons, well, that's what will happen. Okay? And you can manifest anything. A power affirmations under self-concept affirmation? Yes, they are, guys. Like, I run this shit. I'm the operant power. I'm the queen of my reality. But I really want you to focus on the core stuff about you. I'm not chosen. I'm not good enough. I'm not beautiful. That's the stuff that's running the show. That's just added sprinkles on the cake. I want you to do the cake. Focus on the cake, not the icing and the sprinkles. You've got like, cake is, I am chosen. I am loved and adored. I've always been wanted. I am good enough. Then you've got the icing, which is your SP stuff or whatever it is. And then the sprinkles are, I'm motherfucking powerful. I run this shit to remind yourself that you are the operant power, guys. I've been teaching my kids this concept. I wish I would have known this early when I was their age. Yes, I know, darling. Well, they know it already. They already know persistence. They already know manifestation. Kids manifest all day long. But school kills your creativity and it kills your imagination, guys, and then you unlearn it. And life happens to you and you unlearn it and you get subconscious thinking that influences the rest of your life. But yes, teach them, darling, teach them. If you had depression, can a manifesting change that? Well, stop fucking talking about it, Christina. Stop seeing them as depressed. Stop imagining they're depressed or talking about them being depressed. Stop seeing that old version of them and see them as mentally thriving, so in control, Loving life. See a new version of him, darling. Stop talking about it. Chloe, if you don't like my um, videos, why the fuck are you here? Just fuck off, darling. Did you not get enough attention as a kid? Were you bullied at school? What's going on with you, my sweet? I'd have no idea, but fuck off. There's other people here trying to learn. Um, well, I'm trying to tell them about negative thoughts. Yes. Because they don't even realise the negative thoughts. They're just thoughts. Kids don't know which are negative and positive. They just know that they're the thoughts. Excellent, darling. Well done. Um, why do negative thoughts manifest so quickly but the positive ones take months of affirming? Because your negative ones are so strong, guys. They've been running the show. You're trying to cancel those ones out. You think you have 70,000 thoughts a day. How many of those are actually negative? Probably a lot. And it's, you've got to punch them out. So it takes a while for those positive ones to sink in because they're so dominant and prevalent and been there for a long time. Hang on, I'm scrolling down. Can I just say I had a shit childhood but I can still get what I want? Yes, darling. But I wouldn't even say I had a shit childhood. I wouldn't even affirm that. I would say my childhood was wonderful. That's what I'd say. Otherwise, you're reaffirming into your subconscious that your childhood was completely shit. Yes, exactly. Well, they are 13 and 14 and they're changing and I brought it up so much closer. Wonder, it brought us so much closer. That's wonderful, darling. I'm worrying about school because I'm struggling with online school. Any advice, darling? Please stop saying you're struggling. I know you're asking a question. Stop saying that. Say, so, uh, I find online schooling even easier than normal schooling. This is so easy for me. Why am I getting such good grades? I am so good at this. I'm the best fucking student in the class. Okay? Go and watch my How to Manifest Good Grades video, darling. Just scroll down and try and find it. You swearing and comebacks make everything 10 times funnier on time. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I can't stop the swearing. I'm Australian. Um, I decided I would reach out to my boss. All three of my affirmations came true, Connor. Oh, what were they? Well done, darling. Good for you. Uh, 
What did I say? Oh, when I told that girl to fuck off. Tell me you're a quack. Oh, yeah, she's an idiot. Um, how do we book with you? So, guys, just press the message button on my Manifest Live with Loz. If you follow me, this little red button says message. Or go to my Facebook page and find me. I'm the admin under Lauren. And just press it and um, Facebook message me or just at me on the page and I'll get back to you. Okay, guys? I am so booked up for this week at the moment. I'm almost fully booked for Saturday all day. Sunday I've got some time free and next week is very open. So if you want to do stuff with me on Sunday or next week, get in touch. You're amazing. Thank you. You're welcome, Jessica. What's your biggest manifestation that came to fruition? I think my new car is my best thing because I really wasn't expecting to get a new car. I was just expecting a second-hand one, really. I gave up on my manifestation because I found out he has a girlfriend now. I feel like a waste of my time. Well, darling... Listen, he has a girlfriend because you suspected he might, you thought he might, you're worried about a third party turning up, you're thinking he didn't want you, you're thinking you weren't lovable, you're thinking you weren't enough, and then she appeared. So stop thinking that shit and you can change it. You can get him back, you just got to change your thinking about you. What was at the core of that before you found out he had the girlfriend? Were you thinking, he may never come back, he doesn't want me as much as I want him, I'm not good enough, etc. What were you thinking, darling? How much in Aussie dollars, please? I think it works out. I don't know. The exchange rate's changing every day. I think it works out to about $138 or 140 I don't know, guys. It just depends on... Um, go and put an exchange... Put it in Google. 110 US. So should we affirm more of myself rather than affirming her, but affirm both? Yes, darling. 20% them, 80% you. That's what I want you to do. It's all about you, guys. You've got to change you to change them. If you want to put the lipstick on, you don't put it on the mirror, do you? You know, do that, you go like this. Well, you've got to do it to you. You've got to change you to change them. They're just a mirror of your thinking, guys. What if someone else is manifesting the same person? It can't happen, darling. Go and watch my video. Two people manifesting one person. You're in your reality, they're in theirs. They can do whatever the fuck they want in their reality. You're going to get what you want in yours. There's no competition. It's hard to rewire my subconscious to start believing my self-concept. Darling, you don't have to believe it. Are you listening? You just have to say it and say it and say it and say it. You're not going to believe it at first. Think about how long it took for those thoughts to turn into beliefs in your subconscious now. It took years. You're not going to start believing your affirmations, guys. You're never going to believe them half the time. But you just got to say them. I'm not one of these fucking LOA idiots who's telling you to believe and feel. You're not going to feel it and you're not going to believe it. And if you try and do either of those things, that's when you're going to get confused and lost and exhausted. And that's why people are coming on this channel and saying, oh, I didn't realize how simple it was. I just have to say it. Yes. You just have to think it. Yes. Oh, wow, there's 96 people here. Hi. I take notes whenever I catch your lives. Oh, wonderful, darling. Crying in my car about what happened, but watching your lives gives me hope and confidence. Yes, darling, please don't cry. Let it out. I mean, you can cry. Let it all out, but jump back on the horse. Grace will have our call, okay? And we'll sort it out, my darling. Send me your backstory. Have you sent it to me already? Um, so if he hasn't committed after 12 years, should I give up? No, darling, you should fucking work on you. It's got nothing to do with him. It's got nothing to do with him. Someone not committing to you after 12 years has absolutely nothing to do with the other person. Do you understand? What do you think about you? What is at the core of your shitty thinking about you that is causing you to feel so unchosen, so unloved, so unwanted that someone would choose not to commit to you for 12 fucking years? If you can't work that out, darling, book a call with me and we'll work it out in fucking under 30 minutes. Can I suggest a YouTube video I saw yesterday made me believe in more? Oh, what was it, darling? I haven't, but I can. It's kind of long. Does that matter? No, darling. Some people are sending me fucking five-page essays. It's probably not as long as the one I got yesterday. Um, so to get my SP back, I need to change my core beliefs about myself. Yes, guys, because that is what caused the situation of the breakup. Thanks, Ella. That's what caused the situation, guys. You are the only cause. I am the only cause. You've got to write that somewhere and see it every day. They have no free will, and I am the only cause. I cause everything with my thinking. Once you get that, guys... Oh, my God. So I did that and I did that and they are only saying that because of me and they're only doing that because of me. Oh, shit. I better change me. It's all you guys. It's not them. Does it make sense that I'm letting go and dating other people, but I think about them? Um, but when I think about him, I still manifest him. You still manifest him and date other people, darling. It's not going to fuck up your manifestation. That's fine. You have changed my life. Ever since our coaching, everything has changed. Really, Helen? Oh, wow, so Helen and I had coaching. What's changed? Tell me. I'm so excited. Do you believe in twin flames? No, darling. Everyone can be your twin flame and everyone can be your soulmate, just with your thinking. Meant to spend the weekend with boyfriend, but he's ignoring me. Please help. Well, you're telling us he's ignoring you. You're believing he's ignoring you. So guess what he's doing, darling? Ignoring you. Stop fucking saying that. 
Say, who would ignore me? I am irreplaceable. I'm too important to lose. You lose me, you lose. No one would dare ignore me. I walk in a room, everyone takes notice. Start working on you, darling. It's all about you. It's got nothing to do with him. I am the Opera Power. I create my reality. Yes, Miller Sector. I'm so excited. My session is tomorrow. Yes, Super Mum, it is. Hooray. I remember this haha when it was just weeks ago. Oh, what happened? I know that I have to change. People say that's most important. What if the change doesn't happen? It will, darling. You've got to just keep at it. You've got to keep affirming and affirming and affirming and affirming and living in the end in your mind that you are the man or woman you want to be. It will change. But guys, it's years and years of shit. It won't change overnight, but it will. Look, people are already getting success stories with me after two weeks after coaching. Helen, tell us. Constant communication with my SP. Yes, darling. Oh, well done. I'm so pleased. Ah, oh, fantastic, guys. So that's after two weeks after coaching. Go hard on your self-concept for two weeks, guys, and you'll see the difference. Trust me. YouTube, Jim Carrey, how to manifest what you want. Jim Carrey is a master manifester. I actually sent someone out coaching yesterday, Kat, who's here, a big, long Jim Carrey video because he's such a master at it. I have to watch it. How to manifest what you want. He's wonderful. He's manifested his entire fucking life. Go and watch him talking about manifesting. He knows what he's doing. Um, it happened overnight for me. What did? Yes, what happened? Um, 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 what can you instantly tell yourself when you have doubtful thoughts? I run this shit. I'm the master of my reality. I created this, I can uncreate it and recreate it. I did this so I can change it. Motherfucker, I'm changing you. You look at your 3D, you say, okay, it is what it is, but I'm changing it. I created it, I'm changing it. The fact that he's my boyfriend now, I'm so shook. What happened, Jasmine? A hundred viewers? Oh my God, it's the most viewers I've ever had. Um... Hang on, guys, seven messages. Y'all, please watch it. Literally, I felt like I had everything I wanted in that moment. Yes, Jim Carrey speaks the truth about manifesting. He's so great at it, guys. He knew he was going to be famous way before he was famous. I have a fur. Hang on. Because I literally knew he's on his way, and I had that feeling he was coming quick. Yay, Jasmine! Yeah, say quick and in a hurry, and, and this happens to me quickly. Use those words now. It's happening now. I'm so excited. My session is tomorrow. Yay! You are bonkers and it's hilarious. <laughs> Thanks, darling. How long will it take to happen for her to come back? How the fuck do I know, darling? You need to work on yourself. I'm not in your subconscious mind. I can't possibly know. When people ask me about how long it's going to take on here, guys, I don't know the answer. I'm not Yoda. I'm not psychic. I'm not in your subconscious. How long does it take you to convince yourself that she is back with you? That's how long it will take. It has its own appointed time. I love how happy you are for me. I'm happy for everyone in here who bloody gets their shit. Yes, guys. Mm, makes me feel so good. When you catch a bad thought and you instantly say, nope, not true, will bad thoughts still manifest? No, darling, you're cancelling it out. Just forget about that. Stop the fear, guys, of your negative thoughts manifesting. Just say, only my positive thoughts manifest. I can't fuck this up. Say things like that, guys, to your subconscious. Excuse me, subconscious. No, fuck off. Only my positive thoughts manifest. I can't fuck this up. I don't care what you say to me. I can't screw this up. Have I arrived to MILF talk? Oh, that's what some people say. I know, I am old. Get over it. Um, sorry about my frizzy hair, guys. I just haven't been able to blow dry it. Uh, it's still drying from the shower. Any more questions, guys? I've been manifesting a higher paying job and got fired today. Is this a sign? Well, you're probably getting a better one. Neville Goddard, who I've learned everything from, got fired from J.C. Penny. He was the lift operator. And he was so devastated, he was like, oh no. But then he became like this guru of manifestation. If he'd never been fired from J.C. Penny, he never would have done that. Okay? Don't worry about it, darling. Better things are on their way. Believe that. Tell yourself that. You look beautiful. Oh, thanks, Ella. Manifesting in, is the evolution of us humans learning. We have psychic abilities. Yes, well, we all do. We all, well, we're not, well, I don't know if we have psychic abilities, but we have the ability to outpicture our realities from our thoughts. We're all doing it, guys. We're thinking and then it reflects. People reflect it back to you. That seems like you're psychic, but all you're doing is sending out thoughts. People hear it. They reflect it back. They say things. They do what you want based on your thinking. They re react to you based on your thinking. It feels like you're psychic, but it's really just everyone reflects you, what you think of you, them, and situations. It's literally the law of assumption. What you assume manifests. Really. Um... Hang on. Build yourself up, then people will see it 
in that way. Yes, darling, people see you. Once you've built yourself up, they'll see you like that and they'll start treating you like that. Sometimes failures just get you close to what you want. Yes, guys, they're not failures. They're just like leading you somewhere else down another path. I've been affirming for my nose to be upturned and it looks pointy. Yay, darling. Good for you. Do we soothe our ego when doubt comes up or do we beat it up with our affirmations? It's up to you guys. If, you, if, it's, if it's better to say, thank you very much for trying to help me, ego, but I don't need you right now, but thanks for the support, or you say, fuck off. It's a, you do it whichever way is, I do fuck off, but yours might be being nice to it. Say, could you please go in the corner and have a cookie and some milk? Thank you. Thanks for your help, but I don't need you right now. Thanks, bye. Okay. Oh, it was a compliment. Oh, okay, darling. <laughs> thank you. Thanks, Kenny. Um... Do I soothe the... Oh, I saw that one. Pancakes or French toast? Oh, pancakes, darling. Um, why doesn't everyone know about this? Why is the subject so taboo? Because I don't want you to know, guys. Why do you think that CIA document only came out a couple of years ago and it's been around since the 80s about mind control and telepathy? I don't want you to know this shit. What do you think they're doing on the news? What do you think ads are doing to you? What do you think political speeches are all about? They know this shit. I don't want you to know. Loz, I'm happy every day. My SP is moving right along. Loz is the best. Oh, yes, Sandy. My, I'm happy every day. My SP is moving right along. Loz is the best. Oh, Sandy had coaching with me two weeks ago, just over two weeks ago, and has had such movement, and everyone is treating her like a queen. I am so proud of you, Sandy. Well done, darling. Well done. Uh, how do I start my journey to a happier life when I've felt low lately? How do I manifest? Darling, you can feel low, you can feel sad, cry it out. Don't beat yourself up for feeling like that, but write down all the negative thoughts you're having today or you had today. Then write the complete opposite on the other side. I feel like a piece of shit. I'm a piece of shit. No, I'm not. I'm wonderful. Everyone loves me. I've never been chosen. I've always been chosen. Write the opposite and affirm and affirm and affirm and affirm. Just think it all day long, darling, as much as you can, and you'll start to feel better, okay? What is Loz short for? Lauren. Um, it's just very Australian to abbreviate everything. Loz, my SP said I confuse her. I think it's from me not being consistent. Probably, darling. You're just thinking that she's confused, so she will be. It's not your actions, it's your thinking. You've got inconsistent thinking, and then she's confused. One minute you think she likes you, one minute you think she doesn't, and then she'll react like that. Hot and cold behaviour, guys, or people being confused, is based on your, your thinking about the situation. Does she like me as much as I like her? I don't think she does. I hope she texts me and then they'll act like that. It's your thinking, darling, that's confusing her. Is it bad when an ego gets in the way of each other contacting each other like our ego's too big? Look, guys, I, I understand you not wanting to contact them first and wanting them to contact you, especially if you're a girl. Don't feel bad for that. Don't think, oh, it's your ego battling with, you know, the will to text them. You want to be treated like a queen. Is that what you're talking about, Grace? There's nothing wrong with that, darling. I want you on the pedestal, not below it. All right? Hi, Loz. Can I affirm as a self-concept that every guy wants to be in a relationship with me? Well, um, watch out that. Watch that out. Watch out for that, Lavina. No shit. Like, they will. Old dudes will start coming up to you in the supermarket, and then you'll be freaked. People will start jumping out their cars. Okay, you've got to be careful with what you affirm, guys. You don't want every guy you want in a relationship with you. Maybe something like, every guy I want wants me. Wants a relationship with me. Not every guy. Okay, you've got to be careful, guys, because it'll actually happen. So, Lavina, you can do whatever you want, but just be careful, darling. <laughs> what should I tell someone if they ask about your SP? We are in no contact. Just say, I don't know. I have no idea. We don't talk. And change the subject. And then in your mind, you're still together. It doesn't matter what you say out loud, guys, as long as it doesn't throw you too much. Or you can completely lie. But if you completely lie and say, oh, yeah, we're back together, they'll go, hey, I thought there was a third party. Didn't you break up? And then you then you fucked. It's better just to change the subject, guys. Everyone loves talking about themselves. Just change the subject and ask them about them. It works every time. Yeah, his ego is big because he got a new car and girls on his arm, so he won't contact me because of his ego. Well, darling, you're saying that, therefore he won't. Stop saying he's got a big ego. Stop saying he won't contact you. Stop saying he's got girls on his arm. Yes, Alana. Everyone is a reflection of your mind. Think of them as they are obsessed with you. And trust me, yes, guys, you've got to think that way. You've got to take them to the higher version. They are obsessed with me. They love me. They're such a great guy. Not, oh, he's such an asshole. He looks at other girls. God, he's a piece of shit. 
He's obsessed with your girl. Yes, darling, say that. What is self-concept? Is that self-talk? Self-talk is like your mental diet, what you say, your inner conversations, but self-concept is what you think of yourself. What do you think of yourself? Relationships never work out for me. I'm not chosen. Men don't commit. I'm not lovable. My thighs are fat. It's what you think of you and situations like relationships, etc., or men in general, women in general. Okay, guys, that's what self-concept is. That's what I want you to really work on. Should you be saying we're already happily married or we're going to be happily married? No, we're already. You've got to be, I am that. I am it already. You already are married, darling. If you find that a stretch, you can say we're going to be married. If you find that a stretch, you can say he loves me, my boyfriend. If you can find that a stretch, you can say he's thinking about me right now. You can do it in steps if saying married is too much for your subconscious to accept. Please, how can we use hypnosis to manifest? I want to clean my shit. Well, darling, I don't do hypnosis, but you have to go and get hypnotized. Okay, you can't, I don't know if you can do self-hypnosis, maybe you can, I've never done it. Okay, but you could just get in a meditative state if you feel that's going to help you. Turn off your monkey mind so you can visualize or so you can affirm better. Just get some nice music on, get in a state, really do as you're drifting off to sleep or waking up, darling, that might help. My SP reached out to me today and told me he still has feelings for me, but still with the third party. Don't worry, Rachel. Don't worry about what he said about the third party. Just run with that. He loves me and only me. He loves me and only me. He wants me and only me. Forget about the third party. Act like they don't fucking exist, darling. Just run with that and think you're already together. Okay, darling? Is it normal to isolate myself while I manifest myself constantly feel alone but don't want to repeat old shit? Darling, you don't have to isolate yourself, okay? Just work on your self-concept, but keep doing your life. Okay, but don't, if you think things are going to trigger you and you don't want to repeat old shit, then stay away from those triggers like um, social media or going to bars with people that might ask you about your situation, okay? Whatever triggers are there, maybe take them away for a short time and just concentrate on you, yes. That is why girls can date the same man and he only commits to the girls who have a good self-concept. Yes, guys. Look at the amount of amazing Hollywood actors who are so beautiful, like the Halle Berries and stuff, who constantly get cheated on. It's not their looks, guys. It's their self concept look at Beyonce great self-concept about being a performer terrible self-concept about men because of her mum and dad he's about to say he has no doubts about us yeah no that's a good one he has no doubt about us he he knows I'm the only girl for him it's a good one you're awesome oh thanks darling does manifestation still work if you get negative thoughts but you push them right away doesn't guys just say I don't care if I have negative thoughts doesn't matter my negative thoughts don't affect me only my positive thoughts manifest. I can't fuck this up. Start saying that to yourself, guys. Otherwise, you're going to beat yourself up for having negative thoughts. No one has no negative thoughts. Anyone who comes on here and says, I have no intrusive thoughts, I feel like going, oh, come on, dude. Like, get real. Even a monk going on a meditation retreat doesn't have no negative thoughts. Don't beat yourself up. It won't affect it. You're just jumping on top of it. I don't know why, but I always imagine me and my SP famous, and he's a soccer player. I am manifesting for him. Wonderful, darling. I love that image. I manifested you answering my question. Thank you. You're awesome. Oh, you, oh, you're welcome, darling. She thinks about me all the time. I'm always on her mind. That's a great one, Connor. How many SP affirmations should you say? I would say three or four. Guys, don't go too much on the SP, but you can do heaps on you, on your self-concept. Focus less on them, more on you, guys. Once I have unwavering faith about commitment, then he simply mirrors that. Yes, you've got to believe that he is fully committed to you, that he wants you and only you. He will literally mirror what you think about him and you. If you feel like the kind of girl gets committed to, he will. If you feel like he will commit to you, he will. Do you watch Joseph Allah? Yes, I really like his recent video. I haven't seen any videos since I started this bloody YouTube. I've seen a few of Caleb's and I think I saw one of half of Sammy's this morning. And it lost me, so I hung up. Um, how many times a day should you be saying affirmations? Uh, as much as possible, darling. How long's that shit been running in your brain? Do them in the morning, do them in the shower, do them driving to work, do them at lunch, do them at idle times, washing the dishes, going for a jog, whatever. Whenever you can, guys. Do it on a schedule, on the hour, every hour, if you can. Is saying he wants me and only me, etc., is that stuff under self-concept or self... If it's about the other person, it's specific person, darling. Self-concept's just about you, not about them. That's, self, that's SP affirmations. I love all the positive energy in here. So do I, darling, Lena. How many times a day? Oh, I still got that one. Uh, could you give me some examples of self-concept affirmations? Yes, of course, darling. I'm getting better at this last few days. So I am chosen. I am wanted. I've always been loved. I am so beautiful. I'm the greatest guy in the world. There's no guy in the whole world like me. Once you've met me, you love me, and you can't be without me. I'm the man. I'm a fucking king, and I'm treated like a king. All those ones, Connor. 
okay but whatever is at the core of your stuff guys if you're not feeling chosen i've always been chosen if you don't feel loved i've always been loved and adored i've always been showered with love and attention i am so beautiful i am beautiful just the way i am i was wonderfully made i'm perfect just the way i am and everyone loves me just the way i am okay guys um why did my friends randomly start talking about him because you were thinking about him darling and then you thought they might talk about him or you just thought about him and they thought about him it's based on your thinking guys every girl sp meets is whack <laughs> that's a good one when it hurts emotionally does it stop manifestation no darling just say it doesn't matter what i think or feel i can't mess this up of course you're going to feel things don't think it's going to stuff things up darling or if you're feeling hurt don't worry about it every girl um sp is boring compared to me yes that's a good one so if we say stuff like he texted me, is that fine or he's texting me right now better? I would say he's constantly calling and texting me. He can't stop texting me. He's blowing up my phone. I've got an uh, SP co constant contact one coming up, guys, a video. I'm going to post it in the next couple of days. Just listen to that on a loop. He's blowing up my phone. He's constantly calling and texting me. As if it's constantly happening now, guys, okay? Oh, yes, SP means specific person. Sorry, guys, I keep saying that. Just I don't know if it's a man or woman you're talking about or a friend or whatever. Oops, something's happening. I'm missing the messages. Hang on, what? Lately, uh, lately I've been using... Oh, hang on, these are jumping. Oh, God, there's so many people here. These are jumping. Ah. Lately I've been using I'm so cute. Who wouldn't love me? Yes, that's wonderful, Chelsea. I love it. Is it good to heal trauma to manifest faster? Yes, guys, but it's not necessary. But I would try if you can because that's what's running the show. Thanks so much, Lois. You're really saving me here. Oh, no worries, Connor. Is it bad to have too many different affirmations or should you focus on repeating just a few? Connor, why are you still awake? Is it, is it bad to have too many different affirmations or should you focus on repeating just a few? Just a few, guys, for SP, for your car, for your house, for your job, but as many as you like for your self-concept. You're rampaging about yourself. You're building yourself up, but not too many, three or four, maybe five max for each other thing. Should we start off as why? Why am I always loved? Why am I so beautiful? Yes, they're called affirmations or ask formations. My be a little less resistance in your mind if you say why am i so wealthy why am i so loved why is he constantly calling me now why is he so obsessed with me you can do that darling if it helps you bumped into x after two years need to stop thinking about him don't want him back change my thinking lol hang on what bumped into my ex after two years need to stop thinking about him don't want him back change why don't you want him back why don't you just change him into the version you want and then you want him back or get a new one darling Guys, if you don't want them back, it's because they're the version they turned up at the end that you didn't like, that you created. Guys, you create these people. If you don't like them anymore, remember you created them that way. Okay. You look like Ryan Jess. Who's Ryan Jess? I really want to buy a house. What should I say? I love my new house. I love my new house. It was so easy for me to get. I love that I was able to buy my house. I love owning my house. Just say that over and over again, darling, and then you will get a house. I've been manifesting this one person. I am not getting any results, any suggestions. What are you doing, darling? Are you affirming every day about you or just concentrating on them? That would be why. Have you got rid of the old story about them or haven't you? That would be why. Watch all my videos. Go to my Facebook page, guys, because look, TikTok's only one minute videos. There's only so much information I can give you. Go to my Facebook page, Manifest Live with Loz. The link is in my bio or type it into Facebook with the space bars in between and watch all my lives back. And if you're trying to get a specific person, go and watch number 25 replay, specific person, uh, sorry, self-concept to get your person back, okay? And I go in great depth about how to do this, guys, to concentrate on you to get them. You need to change you to change them. What are affirmations to say your manifestation coming quicker? I always get everything I want quickly and easily. My manifestations come to me out of the blue. I am a master at this. I'm a master manifester. I run this shit. What I say goes. Everything is happening for me now. One's like that, my darling. I don't have Facebook. We'll just sign up for just to be in the group, darling. I'm not going to do a YouTube, guys, I don't think. Why do people say that manifestations come when you least expect it? It's because you've got rid of the resistance about it. You're not holding on to an old story about it. You're not giving negative thoughts about it anymore. And then, boop, it comes. Do you ever do 15 minute calls for half price? Sorry, I don't have the money right now. I suppose we could, my darling. Um, write to me and I'll see. I wasn't planning to, but I could. It's just you're not going to get through much in 15 minutes. I kind of need the half an hour to get to the backstory, guys. Getting rid of the old story. Or you can do it in, um, some people are doing payment installments. Some people are sending me 55, then 55. You can do that, darling. Getting rid of the old story. Do it every day or just once. Uh, how long has it been in there, Martha? How old are you? <laughs> Read that new story every day when you go to bed. Oh, he loves me so much. We're in such a beautiful, committed relationship. My childhood was so fucking amazing. 
You can't just read it once and then be like, ta-da, I'm cured. <laughs> Persist, guys. Persist in your new story. Persist in the new you. Thank you so much, Loz. You've totally changed my thinking. I feel so much lighter. Oh, you're welcome, Emma B. Oh, I'm so pleased. There's this one dumb word block that keeps coming in the way when I affirm positively. How do I get rid of it? What's? I don't believe in blocks, darling. What do you mean a word block? What are you talking about? Tell me what you mean. I don't believe in blocks. You're, only, you're the only thing blocking it. What's the word? I don't understand. Please explain. Um, what would you, what would you start with changing yourself? I would write down all my negative thinking, darling, and then write down all the shit that's the opposite of that negative thought and affirm the opposite, darling. That's what I would do. Um, I am the only one he sees the future with. I am the only one he's attracted to. Is that self-concept or a specific person? Darling, is it mentioning him in it? That's a specific person. Self-concept is only about you. I am loved and adored. I am wanted. I am chosen. If it says him in it, it's about him. If it's, it says you in it, it's about you. You can't mention them in it and think that's self-concept. It's, it's only about you, self-concept, guys. Hi, hi, Positive Vibes. Oh, thanks. Good night, Luna. Um, 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 tell me what the dumb word block is, darling, darling Jessica. I don't understand that question. Please explain. Like the sentence turns negative with that word in the affirmation. Oh, thanks, Positive Vibes. Like the sentence turns negative with that word in the affirmation. Well, what's the word? I understand what you mean. What word? I don't understand. What's your affirmation that's fucking you up? Should we also have a feeling when we're affirming, no, like we've already received it? Yes, the feeling I've already received it is good, but not emotion. You don't need to feel emotion. You need to feel happy, feel overjoyed. Just feel contented that, oh, it's done. How would you feel if you were the man or woman you want to be? Yes, there can be emotion attached to that, but it's not necessary. If you are the man or woman you want to be, you feel content, satisfied, relieved. You might feel happy, you might feel whatever, but it's not necessary, okay? Pursued, is that the word? What's happening? Should we also have, um, hang on, I'm missing this. The word is blocked itself, so instead of you texting me, I'll say blocked for no reason. Yeah, because you, look, if he blocked you and that's your negative thought is going, no, remember he blocked you, you stupid bitch. You just have to, have to keep saying, no, he's constantly calling and texting me. He's constantly calling and texting me. If your mind keeps reminding you of the current circumstances, that's, that's normal. That's what your subconscious does. It's constantly out picturing your shitty thinking about yourself. No, 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 you stupid bitch. You're not chosen. You've been blocked. Don't worry about it. Just say, shut up, Karen. And then jump in. I have, No, he's constantly calling and texting me. He wants me and only me. Our communication has always been perfect. You've just got to keep on top of the affirmations, guys. You can't expect that negative thought to shut up. It will keep persisting. That's why you have to be as persistent as it or more. That's what I'm saying to you guys. Just doing a couple of affirmations in the morning and night isn't going to do shit because that run is running all fucking day without you even realising. It's like a tape that's been running since you were zero years old. You think doing a couple of affirmations is going to help? No. Can you really have... Anyone you want, despite circumstances? Yes, darling. Yes. It happened due to some misunderstanding. Well, don't worry about it, darling. Stop concentrating on the blocking. Yeah, it's only on Snapchat too, and he never wanted to do it. He apologised too, which I manifested. Well, then why are you even focusing on it? Don't even think about it. Your focusing on the blocking is causing more of that blocking in your mind. Guys, if you've been blocked, just act like it didn't happen. Go back and revise it. And say, our communication's always been perfect. He's constantly calling and texting me. Forget about it. Oh, my God, I don't think you can see my messages. Oh, I'm seeing heaps of them, darling. What are you talking about? I mean, questions. I logged in at... No! <laughs> Did you? <laughs> I do a lot of shouting. Sorry about that. Okay, I had about 10 SP affirmations, and now I'm narrowing them down to four. will take even longer now. Guys, so many people are coming to me with all these affirmations. One girl came to me today, I won't mention names, who'd gone to another coach, and I won't mention the coach... And she had all these affirmations that I said none of those are going to do anything because they're all about the other person and they weren't at the core of the issue. Guys, you've got to change you to change them. Just doing a whole lot of SP affirmations won't do shit. Trust me. I got my SP back by doing the SP affirmations. Great! Had I changed me? No! What happened? He left again when I fucked it up again and I had to fix it. Getting back's the easy part, guys. Who was the coach? I can't say. <laughs> She's actually a really good coach, so I'm actually surprised. I really like her, so I was shocked. 
You're amazing. Oh, thanks, Pat. Uh, can you do self-concept and SP at the same time? I love myself and SP loves me. Yes, you can do that. Absolutely. It's good to do the self-concept tied in with your SP. Like, he can't stop thinking about me because there's no one in the whole world like me. He loves, I love myself, so he loves me. So, of course, he loves me. You can tie them in, guys, as like a way to prove what you're saying. He loves me so much because who wouldn't fucking love me? That's good to do. Uh, oh, shit, hang on. Me and my SP are on the phone right now telling me all about his day. What? And you're watching me at the same time, Alexis? <laughs> Brilliant. Are you joking? We only just had a bloody call like an hour ago. <laughs> Oh, I'm so confused. How has this occurred? Hooray, darling. God, that was quick. Yes, I love that. And I love you. Oh, thanks, darling. After finding you, I realized how much self-concept I need to change. And now I affirm all day. Wonderful shiz bloom. Honestly, it's so life-changing, guys. I can't tell you. Go to my Facebook group and read some of the stories of the coaching. I affirm my love is always reciprocated. Oh, that's a lovely one, Gina. Oh, I love that. Um... Blah, blah, blah. Yes, I love that. Oh, hang on. Uh, any more? Yes, change ourselves and then everything will change. We are the creators. Yes, guys. Are affirmations enough for an SP? What do you mean? Just saying affirmations? No, you need to change the old story about them, darling. Rewrite the story of them. See them as the new version. Just affirming isn't enough. You've got to change the old story, guys. The affirmations are like the heading of the title of the book, the chapter. And the story is what you're attaching to that. Oh, the breakup was terrible. He hasn't forgiven me. I have to text him. He won't text me. Get rid of that story. And the affirmations. The Facebook group is awesome. Thanks, Charlie. It's 4 a.m. here, but I can't stop watching your lives. Oh, God. Go to bed, darling. Ah. Need to leave. Will you have more upcoming lives? Yes, darling. I have them twice daily. So, guys, if you aren't following me, follow me because I go live at random times. This is a set time, 9 p.m. EST on a Thursday night. But... And I do a Sunday night, 6 p.m. EST, but I want to catch everyone's time zone. So I do also do ends, top ends of the day in Australia. So I catch people in Europe and Britain and everywhere and Asia and Australia and then the Americans and everyone else. Okay, guys, so do follow me if you aren't already because you don't know when I'm going to go live. Just found Joseph Murphy and Abdullah. They're wonderful. Abdullah taught ev Neville everything he knows, really. Um... Just thinking of good past memories and feeling like they're still happening, a good way to affirm, yes, darling, wonderful. Put them in the future as if they've already happened. Are they happening now? You're already together and you're looking back. Oh, wasn't that wonderful when we did that, that, this and that, darling? Like you're still together when you're looking at the past. Guidance, please. Are you saying to work on us only? Would you sprinkle in SP affirmations? Yes, guys, you're the cake. The SP affirmations and you're like, I like the icing, okay, and the sprinkles. Don't focus too much on them. Focus on you and then them. 80% you, 20% them, 70% you, 30% them if you can do it, but I will focus more on you. I've been confirming her away. Oh, who? Uh, how do we truly change the story and get rid of doubt about an SP? Guys, if you're doubting yourself, start using your power, do things every day, make manifestations happen, get a free coffee, get someone to wear a certain colour shirt, etc., just so you don't doubt your power, so you know you can change them. Say, even though I think they won't change, they're going to change. Because you're the operant power. You run this shit. Okay, guys. Uh, what was the other rest of the question? Who else besides Neville was taught everyone as you pushed out? Abdullah, I guess. I'm trying to think. I don't know, actually. Uh, how would you sprinkle... Oh, hang on. What was the rest of that question? Should I manifest a text or start to go right to the thought of being in a relationship? Yes, the relationship and the text. Go and watch my series, darling, How to Manifest a Text. It goes for about 12 videos. It's got a red heading. Do both. Um, what should I say to myself when I'm confronted with someone who I want to manifest away? We'll just act like they don't exist, darling. Don't give them any thought. Don't give them any energy, okay? When you focus on something it grows what you focus on grows so stop focusing on that person if you can't if they're constantly in your reality because of work or whatever then just imagine they're happy with someone else they go away imagine a scenario where they leave i tell my dog aren't you so excited to see your dad oh that's a nice one could you give a couple of affirmations what which ones darling self-concepts sp which ones do you want i've given a whole lot of self-concept ones already can other people manifest for us if we can't can manifest for them? Yes, I manifest for people all the time, darling. My brother, my best friend, my ex, 
boyfriend. I've stopped him from being an alcoholic in my reality. I don't know what he's doing the rest of the time with everyone else. Don't know. Um, guys, hang on. Five new messages. Can you do a video on self-image? I am chosen, I'm priority, etc. so we can loop it. Yes, I'm going to do. After these SP affirmation videos come out, guys, I'm going to do self-concept one, self-image. Absolutely. Um, self on your SP can be in your life. Self so your SP can be in your life. You mean self-concept? Yeah, so I did those ones. I am chosen, I am loved, I am wanted. I've always been showered with love and affection. All my relationships have always worked out. Everything's always working out for me. Those are self-concept ones that will help, darling. Can I affirm that my sister doesn't have depression? Yes, darling. I put my best friend out of depression by just imagining her happy, imagining her not like that anymore and not saying she was depressed. Stop saying it. I know you're asking a question. Um, what are some good affirmations for a job when you have no experience? If it's a job, you know what it is, darling. Assume when you go in for the interview that they love you and you have it already. But if you don't know what it is, just say, I love my career. I love my new job. Okay, I have a question. Isn't it impossible to manifest for others when they have a different reality? No, darling, because in your reality, they turn up however you assume them to be. They're in their reality doing whatever the fuck they want. That's why I'm saying my ex doesn't drink in my reality. I don't know what he's doing over there in his. No idea. But when he turns up in my reality, he doesn't drink anymore because it's my reality and I run this shit. See what I'm saying? Been manifesting an SP and says third party is leaving. Going to keep going until third party is gone! Exclamation point. Yes, beep bop. Well done. So can I manifest an SP for my mum? Absolutely. See her with someone. See her happily coupled up. My mum is so blissfully happily coupled up. My mum is so happy now she has a boyfriend. My mum loves her new boyfriend. Say those ones, darling. Um... With the story, do you have to write the old story or just write the new one? You can just write the new one, but I would write the old story, guys. It's avoidance to not write it. Sometimes it's hard to write the old story, but I would do it. It's cleansing to do it, then fucking burn it, okay? And then only concentrate on the new story and read that every night, okay, guys? So they can still be with someone else in their reality and another about, and other about to us that have changed. I don't understand that, Alana. And a bit to us, they've changed. I don't, repeat that one again. I don't understand the question. Um, what do you mean, write the old story? The old story about the breakup, the old story about you. What happened? What are you holding on to? What do you keep repeating to your friends? That guy's a bastard. He cheated on me. There's that girlfriend now. She's a bitch. La, 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 la. What's the story? He broke my heart. I can never trust him again. What's the story? Or the story about you. My childhood was shit. My dad left me when I was five. Etc. What's the story? Yep. Write the old story. Burn that shit. It helps to let it go. Yes, Sandy. Yes. Is it necessary to write the old story? Yeah. Guys, I know it's hard to write the old story. I remember when I discovered conscious manifesting a long time ago, I avoided writing it. I didn't want to write it. I avoided it in therapy. I used to dread going to therapy because every day in therapy, all we were doing was talking about the old story for six fucking months. I was like, must we talk about this shit every week? You need to get through that old story to write the new one. I hope I'll get another chance now that I realise I need to change. Darling, you decide if you get another chance. Stop saying I hope. Don't you run the shit? Aren't you master of your fate? Aren't you the queen of your reality? If you say you get another chance, you do. You run the shit, darling. Stop thinking about hope. We don't do hope manifesting here. That's a load of bullshit. You decide what happens. Watch my videos. No hope involved. So they can still be drinking in their reality, but when they are in ours, they have changed. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Yep. Yep. A guided meditation is about self-love, good for an SP. Yes, guys, but only go to reputable people. Some people's are shit. You know, like, just go to a, like, a YouTube page that's got lots of great compliments about it and the comments and things are ones that really resonate with you. Okay, guys? But I would do your own, guys. Listening to another person isn't as powerful as listening to you or not repeating back when they say it. So when you listen to mine on a loop, you've got to repeat after me or say it in your head. You can't just listen. Listening's not going to do much, guys. You have to think it and think it and think it and think it. Think it after I've said it. I want to manifest justice for myself in front of the law for what happened. If you're angry at something that happened, darling, and you need justice, well, let me give you the tip. You're not getting this. You created whatever the fuck it is that happened and you're not accepting that and now you're angry and annoyed and you need justice. Well, guess what? You create your reality. So you're going to have to go back and figure out how you created it, forgive yourself and move on. That's like revenge, justice, 
It's not accepting the fact that you created it. If you don't understand that, not much is going to change, my darling. Maybe go and watch my videos on a loop because you're not getting this that you created it. Is that what you're saying? You want justice? If you want revenge from anybody, guys, if you're holding ill will towards someone, you want them to hurt as much as you're hurting, it's like drinking poison and expecting the other person to die. I'm the only woman in my man's life. He loves being with me. Period. Yes, JGM. Every day, you have been growing today. You hit 100 views. I remember when you were at 20. Yes, I know, darling. And what was my affirmation I told you with the first week? I am everyone's favorite manifestation TikToker. See? Works. <laughs> so forgiveness is the key. Forgiving yourself, darling. Forgiving yourself for holding on to all that shit for all those years. God, fuck. Don't beat yourself up. Just be like, ah, oh, forgive myself for thinking all that shit. Now I'm the new Pat. Hooray! How do you rewrite the new story of a breakup? Well, you're not broken up, darling. Thank you, Positive Vibes. Just pretend you never fucking broke up. It never fucking happened. What breakup? Pfft, we're not broken up. We're married. What are you talking about? We've got five kids living in a mansion. Look back on it like you never broke up. Write it five years from now as if you've got this blissful, happy marriage. Okay? And you never broke up, darling. That's how you do it. Uh, what? Lauren, I'm missing it. Lauren, sorry, that was a serious question. What's a serious question, darling? I missed it. You're my favourite. Thanks, Christina. If you're holding on resentments towards someone, then you're really holding on to resentment about yourself. Yes, I know. What was the serious question? I missed it, darling. I'm just going to scroll up. Um, <laughs> thank you, Pronto Pop. Pronto Prop. Um, what was a serious question, darling? Can you repeat it? Was that the one about the needing justice? Is that what you're replying to? Hang on. I'm confused what you're talking about. Write that again, darling, so I can understand what you're saying. It was a serious question because I can't see the question. Um, how do random things like car accidents happen since you never think about them? Yes, you do. You, th you might think about... Yeah, it's, guys, you don't know when you did it. You don't know when you planted the seed. It's seed time and harvest. You might have planted that seed five years ago. You might have just thought, I don't feel safe. You might have just thought other people are erratic drivers. People drive on the road so badly. I'm a, such a good driver and other people are terrible drivers. It can even be stuff like that, guys. You don't know when you planted the seed. How long or short should your new story or long story be? It does not matter. It doesn't matter, guys, but I want you to write it in detail of what you want your life to be or what you want that situation to be. Don't just do bullet points. I think she has something in the court. Yes, all right, but that's fine. And you can imagine that it goes in your favour. But getting angry at a person and wanting justice is not going to help you. Because you're going to win the case and then still hold on to that resentment to the person. Is that... I don't quite understand if that's the question you're asking, darling. If I've got that wrong. Can you manifest being... Yourself being healed from childhood trauma. Yes, darling, absolutely. Just imagine it never fucking happened. You very quickly became my favourite manifestation, manifestation TikTok. Oh, thanks, darling. Did you ever believe before everything happens for a reason? Yes, I used to say that all the time until I realised I was the fucking reason, darling. <laughs> that used to be my go-to saying. I don't know where I got it from, but it's a load of crap. Should the new story be short or long? I saw that one. What was a serious question, Lorenzo? I missed it. Thoughts on Moldavite. Yes, darling, if this is one of those crystal things and it's one of those ones with bad juju energy, I don't believe in that shit. Crystals and anything that's a placebo is something you put belief into. If you believe it's going to be bad for your will, if you believe it's good and it's manifesting for your will. Um, how can I affirm SP is pursuing me when we're already married living in the end? Darling, if you're married, isn't he pursuing you? Aren't you married? If you assume you're already married, guys, the pursuing you is natural, isn't it? Hasn't he asked you to marry him and all that shit? <laughs> That's how you got married. That's pursuing. Okay? You can say he's constantly calling and texting me. He blows up my phone. He can't be without me. He loves being my husband. He loves every little thing about me. Makes sense? Should you write only on one topic at a time or create a story encompassing all? It's up to you, darling. You can write just your childhood. You can just write just the relationship. It's up to you how it works for you, darling. I can't tell you how to do it. Sorry, I meant affirm. Oh, sorry, guys. Sometimes you're getting... There's like five people in between your last comment and the next comment, and I can't piece them together. 
My past memories pop up for moments before I affirm. Do these moments affect my manifestation? Just assume they don't, Randy. Just say, doesn't matter what I do, I can't mess this up. Doesn't matter what pops into my head, I can't mess this up. Don't worry about that. How do I use the word now in my manifestation about my SP? We are married now. He's constantly calling and texting me now. He's so obsessed with me now. Okay, real talk. Can I manifest my dream body? Yes, darling, absolutely. Just imagine, I love my body. I have the perfect hourglass figure. Whatever it is you want, I am losing weight rapidly. Weight is just falling off me. God, I can't believe how thin I am. I'm so wonderfully thin. If I focus more on self-concept and stop SP affirmations, will they still come through? I'm not saying stop the SP affirmations, guys. I'm saying just do them less because I know how obsessive you guys get and you spend so many hours of your day thinking about them, focusing on them, and I want you to put the focus back on you. Don't stop them altogether. Just do them a lot less. Can you manifest the same person back even after we've gotten back and broken up a few times? Yes, darling, I have. What's wrong with that? Of course you can. Stop saying, giving yourself blocks and reasons that you can't. Absolutely you can. Just assume they're already with you and the breakup's never happened. Uh, any more questions, guys? Well, coffee affect my affirmations only if you think it does, darling. Okay, I'm going to have to go soon, guys, because I've got more calls coming up and I've got to go and take stuff to the post office and I've got to get on with my life. So, guys, if you're not following me, follow Manifest Live with Loz on TikTok. Go to the Facebook page. You can watch these lives back. If you want one-to-one -one DM uh, coaching, DM me. We do one-to-one -one video coaching, paid coaching. And, oh, thanks, Charlie14. And just DM me with your time zone. All right, guys. I will speak to you soon. I'm going live again later today, Australian time. Bye, guys. Thanks, Savina.